In today's video, I'm going to give you a full beginner's guide to the App Store subscriptions app for Shopify. Now, the first thing you want to go ahead and do is click the link down in the description. And once you click that, that should redirect you to this page here. And from there, you can go ahead and click on the install button. Now, once we've clicked install, you should go ahead and open up your Shopify store. And then there should be a button here to press install. And that will add it onto your store. Now, once you open up the app, you should be brought some onboarding that looks like this. If you want to, you can go ahead and press the next steps on here, or you can go ahead and just press the exit onboarding bit like that. Once you do that, it's going to go ahead and ask you about the pricing plans. And it starts off at free and goes all the way up to $100 a month. Now check which one is best for your needs and select that. Now something to bear in mind is they all have a free trial. I'm just going to go ahead and select the free one for now. So once we've gone ahead and picked our plan, the first thing you want to do is make sure that it's embedded onto our website and make sure it's turned on. So you can go ahead and click on this button here. And it's going to open up your Shopify store and the builder. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the left hand side and we need to make sure that it's turned on here. It might look like that. Just turn it on like that and press save. After that, we're going to go ahead and start configuring our plans. So we're going to go to where it says configure subscription selling plans and we're going to go ahead here and click create subscription plan. Now, first of all, we can type in a name here so we can just say this subscription one. And in here, we're going to be able to go ahead and select some products. We can either do it by collection or individual products. I'm going to click by products. And as simple as that, just to add a product. You can equally go over to here and you can select a product and do it by variance instead if you only want specific variants to be subscriptions. Next up, we've got the subscription frequency. So first of all, we have the pay as you go, which is auto renew. This is the billing um, type. You also have one time payment, so this won't be a subscription. And you've got prepaid auto renew, which basically means that they'll have to pay for all of it up front. You probably want to stay on the top one, which is pay as you go, meaning they'll pay monthly. Next up, we're going to put a um, name for the frequency. So depending on how often someone orders it, so you could say um, bi-monthly, or you could say weekly or monthly or yearly, depending on how often they're going to get it. Let's just put monthly. Next up, we're going to put a bit of description there. So we can put, get your order delivered each month. Next up, we've got the frequency. This is where we actually go ahead and change the frequency. So we can go ahead and change it to every however many. And then we've got the months, weeks, days, or years. So for monthly, we would put every one month, and that means they're going to get it once a month. Now, the subscription renewal day, this means, well, you can do a few things here. So you can either set it so that they get the renewal the same day each month, meaning if they place an order on the 10th of the month, they will get their order placed at the 10th of every single month. Alternatively, you can go ahead and change it to a specific day of each month if you, for some reason, want to do that. You can also go ahead and apply a discount for subscriptions. So maybe they get a 10% discount on a subscription and you can change it to an amount of, so that'd be pounds or your currency. And then you've got a fixed price. So this will be the price that the, the um, subscription is. You can just set it as a discount for now if you want to. You can also change the discount um, after a specific number of payments. So what we can do here is we can say after one cycle, the discount value goes to 0% off. And what we could do here is we could start off with 100% off and give them a free trial. So it'd mean that it was free for the first month. We could do a huge discount, 90% off. And then after the first cycle, it's going to then go to no discount. So that would be like a free trial sort of thing. You can also go down here to the advanced settings and change those if you'd like to. You can also add another frequency plan and have multiple frequency plans for each product. Once we're ready, we can go ahead and press save and that should be ready to go. Now, once we've done that, we can go over here and choose our widget. So if you just look on the right hand side here, it's going to show you this part here. Just select through and look at which one you prefer the look of. See, there's all the different options there. I personally like this one, but this is really up to you. And you go ahead and select your product and put it in there. 
and it's going to go ahead and um, fetch the product details for your product. Now for me, I haven't got the right details in, so it's not going to show up. But you can see this is what it's going to look like. Then you can go down here and change some settings, so you can change the quantity. You can change it so that the subscriptions default. Um, you can change sold out variants. You can have statistics. Um, there's just loads of different settings here, but you can just turn these on or off depending on what you like. You can also add some custom CSS here. Once you're happy with how it looks, you can just press update and that should go ahead and update it on the website. It might take a few seconds to load. Next up, we're going to want to customize our shipping profile so we can set that up here. And it's basically the same as how it works on Shopify. You create a shipping profile, you call it something so we could say free shipping. We can press create. And then from there, we can go ahead and edit it on Shopify or we can just update it. Um, so it automatically does our Shopify settings basically. Pretty simple to do that. And then finally we want to set up the cancellation stuff. So we've got a few options here. But basically if a customer tries to cancel, you've got this option here which allows them to cancel immediately. Or you've got this which they recommend. And this is basically a flow which tries to prevent them from cancelling. And it will try to offer them a discount. It will also ask them why they um, you know, ask them a lot of questions, do you want to pause it instead, uh, that kind of stuff, just to try and keep the retention up. Um, you've also got this and this setting here, but I'd recommend going for this one here just to help with the retention. You can change the amount of discount they get and you can change all the language in here too. You've also got for pause settings as well, you can put on their um, flow that they recommend. Once you're ready, you can go ahead and just press save on that, make sure you've changed it all to work. Now what I'd recommend doing is going onto your website and clicking on your product and checking if it's actually showing up the um, subscription options. Now you can see here I have another subscription app which is turned on which is the which is seal subscriptions and you can see it obviously clashes with this so make sure if you've got any other apps such as another subscription app or something else that you go ahead and turn it off so that you can actually use this effectively. I'd also recommend going ahead and um, you know testing out to make sure it actually works. So going ahead, adding it to your cart um, and just doing a test order to make sure that the subscription shows up in here. A few more settings we're going to look at is you've got customers here. So it shows all the customers that you've got. Subscriptions, this shows you all of the different subscriptions. It shows you the details of people's subscriptions, all of that kind of stuff, the next due date, which is pretty useful to see. Then you've got more here, so you've got a ton of things such as your shipping profiles, the widget, customer portal, everything down to bundles and even app integrations if you want to go ahead and set it up with something like Pagefly or an affiliate offer or something like that. Lastly, we've got our analytics here and this is going to show you t tons of things like your orders, your amount of subscriptions, the average orders per subscription. You can look at stuff like your revenue, your churn rate, um, all of that kind of stuff, which is pretty useful information. If you're trying to split test and figure out how to um, make it better essentially so that's basically how you use the apostle subscription app if you found the video useful be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below that it helped you out thank you for watching